that's it, because she's lovely when she's lovely. <laughs> good girl. That's very good. All systems go. So lunch has been consumed. Very, very yummy. And now the first group is heading out for their jump lesson. So it's Saskia, Banksy, there is a Tina somewhere, and then also Sophie and Freddie. And then I will be riding with Alana later, which we've just done an interview over on your vlog. So make sure you check that out. Um, but yeah, we will be jumping. I think we've now gone into groups. So we've got, I think it's an hour lesson. Is it, now? Is it I don't know. Well, I'm guessing with like having groups of us, it'll be about an hour. Yeah, because then... there'll need to be a lot of stopping and starting. Exactly. So it's three o'clock now, and I reckon we need to be ready and on for four. But I need to put my vlogging camera down, and I need to pick up Tina's vlogging camera. So I'm on those duties. Oh, and the big camera as well. <laughs> I'm being trusted today. Go on then, camera woman. Yes, let's yeah. go do this. Speedy turnaround. So the three of them have just finished their jump lesson, which went very, very well. I really enjoyed watching and learning. It's always good watching lessons, isn't it? And I've said yeah. that so many times. There's probably been sort of repetition, but it is. It's so interesting watching other people have a lesson and different things that they sort of work on. But it's now time. Addy is all tapped up and ready to go. Put my mic on. And uh, yeah, everything is a go for a lesson. To it. Well done. <laughs> She's a feisty little thing, isn't she? <laughs> Feel, let the jump come to you, but keep it rhythm, feel, keep it rhythm, feel, good boy. Oh, good girl. Well done. Support, stay with it, try and keep the same canter if you can do, just support, support, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, good girl, that was lovely. Good girl, no less. Keep the canter, keep the canter, keep the canter. She's like, this is keep so much canter. more fun than dressage. Good. Well, it's a stripey pole and either stop or run out or do a big cat jump or something. You are there in the tack to stay safe. Yeah? yeah. They might be absolutely fine. So you don't have to over, you don't have to change anything, but I would just be coming to that if I was on a horse that thinks is it going to spook with a nice bit of weight into my heel and sat night, I'm um, attentive, so that if something happens, I'm there with it. But I certainly wouldn't turn the corner and be like, you are jumping that. Because okay. then they're like, well, and some yeah. might not even, even bloody look at it at all. Okay. So just keep them straight, keep quality of canter, keep between the hand and leg and keep strong in your position. Keep it simple. Up round the top, then you're gonna do your vertical back on your dog leg, back to your water tray. Okay? Right, groovers. And then we'll change the course afterwards. Good girl. I really like that. That's her fault, not yours. Well done. Good. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Good girl. Well Good done. Good girl. <laughs> well, we didn't. Good. Very good. Give her a big pat. Well done, Ems. <laughs> Very good. Right, let's go and just do that all once more for him. Ooh. That way, I think that will do him good. Yeah. Well done. Very Thank good. You. Went a bit funny on the double work. Yeah, she had a good look. She could probably. <laughs> yeah, I'll let um, Alana go and then just maybe just pop down. Down through it. Yeah. Down through that once more. Double. Good girl. Yes, well done. Well ridden. Oh. Good girl. Oh my. 
my goodness. Well done. Lovely, good girl. Make a big fuss of her. She can do that again. That's good. That's good. I like that. Support. Stay with it. 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 Then go with her. Go with her. Go with her. Good girl. Very good. Okay, then balance. That's it. Canter. Canter. Good. Support. Sit up. Sit up. Good girl. Woo! Every time. Woo! Let's start that again. Let's start her again. So you're going to get your five and then you're going to be quicker on your straight line after number two to go whoa okay. and get her back. She can figure out how to jump the water tray. You went good off. girl. Good girl, very good. Right, sit up and just go whoa and balance. Whoa. Balance, good. And keep the canter, keep the canter, good. Don't panic her. Good girl. Well done, very good, excellent. That will probably do him a lot. Yeah. Good, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Good girl, leg, leg, good girl. Well ridden. Oh, 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 oh. Well ridden. Get the canter, keep the canter. Keep it, keep it, good girl. Sit up, keep her with you, keep her with you. Good girl, very good. Sit up, sit up, good. Lovely, well done. This is good, Ems. Keep her with you through the turn, keep her with you. Whee! Good girl. <laughs> good girl. Well done. Very good. Huh? Thank you. You're good. I'm well good. done. Well done, Maxie. Do we enjoy big... that? Huh? <laughs> she's a good girl. She, she's got the hang of the water straight in the end. She's doing weird things. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Her legs go all over the place, yeah. don't they? She's like, as long as I get over it, it's okay. I know. Thank you. Make sure, make sure you stay on side, trotting around, doing your circles. Because you're a very pretty little thing, but you're not to be bad. Because you've got a very lovely mummy and you're very, very lucky. So don't be <laughs> horrid. What do you think, Maxie? Right, well done. Amazing. Thank you very That's much. Very good. Thank you. I'll just give her a little walk. <laughs> yeah, she is good like that. It's just... And until our dressage gets better and our canter gets better, then I think that will make it so much easier. Yeah. I did. Much more than this morning. <laughs> You're a good girl. Yeah. Bless her going through that double. I could really feel her like go. I'm really not sure, but okay. I deserve them. She's such a foodie. I'm done now. <laughs> Good girl. Girl, you like that, didn't you? Very good. Yes, go. Action. Action. <laughs> okay, so you guys have already seen where you were stabled. It's, we call that isolation barn for obvious reasons. 
Um, it's great to have for our young horses, for when people come to training, everything. It keeps everything separate from our competition horses, big horses going anywhere. So any any horses that come from Ireland or young horses, that sort of thing that might come in, you know, it's easy. You keep it clean, you keep it separate. We bio genie a lot of times throughout the year, which will keep cleaning and getting rid of any nasty lurgies that might have come or whatever. We keep all stuff separate for over there, so it's just a place that works really well and definitely for a big yard or competition yard, I think it's quite an important place to have. How long would you keep them over there when you've brought them in from, say, Ireland or just bought them? How? Near on a month, really. Yeah. I mean, most of the time, I can probably say there's only been a handful of times that they've come from Ireland as a three or four year old and don't get ringworm or something yeah. when they come here or don't, you know, they seem fine for 10 days then suddenly they have a bit of a lull or a bit of a snot or something. Um, so they do stay there for a while, yeah. you know, a good month to six weeks or something mm -hmm. and then, um, you know, then they could move across if they need to but sometimes they end up staying there just for a long time because they're there and it works and yeah. they're usually a young thing or something like that. You know, I'm a big turnout person, they're either out during the day or in at night. So I think when we walk through the yard at the minute, you'll see there's still a few empty boxes and those guys are going to have already turned out at night. Now it's half past five or something now, I think, isn't it? So they've all gone. Um, or they go out during the day, but I like them all to go out, separate pens. It's not till they get to the holidays the end of the season that shoes off and then they'll go out as a herd or a pack or something. We saw in the little building under cover over there where the wag um, wagons are all parked but we also have a spa. Mm -hmm. um, you probably saw that already, that's just purely a luxury. Mm -hmm. I just normally ice legs and things like that after hard work but it's a real luxury to have to stand in and the water will come all the way up to here. It's two degrees and it's salty water with water so it gets out all um, yeah. information or cuts, bruising, yeah, that sort oh, yeah. of thing. And you also really tell from the moment they come off the wagon that um, the moment they come off the spa, um, where a hot spot will be, because they're ice cold legs, but you feel a hot spot hot. like within Easier the to legs. identify. It's really easy yeah. to identify. This is our rug room, which is just great to have the space. Um, it keeps things organised and clean and very clear. We have just recently changed sponsors this year and gone with Shires. Um, and so we are still collecting Shire's rugs to get the team all kitted out but it's been a great success that so far with the rugs and the fitting of them and all that sort of thing but it's quite a, you know, it's, it's quite a large operation the girls need to, you know, our travelling grooms are very good at knowing what rugs go for what events they're not just grooms, there's a lot of, a lot of brain work that they take control away from me of knowing who sponsors what events, what pads they need on what days. You know, they'll know Dawson and Hall sponsors Chatsworth or something like that. They wear Dawson Hall pads that day. Or Is it horses by horses own. as well? Yeah, is it to yeah, do with different horses? Yeah, totally. And usually actually when I get to a five star or something, it's it can be a 50-50 pick. You know, if it's not, mm. I'll wear that pad for dressage, that pad for cross country, that pad for show jumping. And it depends what horse does the best and what phase a horse now picture might want, you know, yes. a yep. photographer might want. These are winning rugs. Aww. Quite cool. That was the Babington one. That was a really cool Yay. special one. Yay. And Burley, I think, is just under it. Is your favourite one the Babington one then? Um, oh. Burley and Babington was just like. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like. That was so cool and just so exciting. But it was actually. It's really funny because I think I was about 25 years old or something and I. I've never won a rug, and you always go to people's yards and you're like, they always win so many rugs, well, I never won a rug. And, and now look. <laughs> yeah, I, feel oh, I, I might turn some of them into cushions or blankets. Oh, that's a lovely oh, idea. Thank you. <laughs> Something cool for in the lorry. Um, so it'd be quite cool. They're all very special, and you most of the time end up giving owners the prize that you get. And there was once upon a time we were just to get plaques, didn't we, for yeah. there being an event. You remember all horses' stable doors used to yeah. have loads yeah. of plaques yeah. on them and things. We don't get them at all anymore. I think it's quite sad. Um, and so you've got nothing that reminds you. Yeah, really, that's think. slightly yeah. smaller memorabilia, isn't yeah. it, as opposed to... Where yeah. actually, you know, you go from horse to horse or event to event and you forget some great days. Like I'll always think Mill Street. Ah, oh, that was Jeremy, Nick Knox's horse. 
And it's just always quite nice when you yeah. look back and think, oh, that was I'm not good enough, am I? <laughs> All star winner, Hartbury, what year? Mm. You don't say, did I go last year? Baggage. <laughs> <laughs> Tilly Bean. <laughs> She won that one. If that was if that was last year. Is there a horse there that has won the most rugs? No. Ooh, no. no Good question. So. <laughs> but baggage probably has the best rugs. Yeah. <laughs> she has the best. The most rugs. trendy ones. Yeah, she does. The ones everybody else wants. Pretty much. I've got about um, six, seven members of staff, um, and we can have up to thirty horses here. Um, five live in here. Thomas and I and Max live there. Aww. And then Deli, our yard manager, lives in the flat that's just above the rug room that we were there. And then there's a couple of girls that come in, one's part-time, and Sam I am, who's been with me for 10 years, this comes Monday to Friday. Aww. And so plenty of us. Um, but it works really well being on site. I have great, I've been so lucky with staff over the years, but most of them would come with a horse or come to learn usually or their traveling groom or yard manager or something like that but when they're on site and they feel part of a team and a family a family i bet sort of thing, it's really cool you know we all work all work hard and so it has a good vibe to it no pecking order of staff in my world um obviously um you know some spend more time or are more ne needed than others but it's just as important with the working pupils or the ones that to clean the tack and do more food picking and things like that they're made to feel just as important and no rider or anything here is above any of those jobs mm -hmm. everyone has to get dirty everyone has to get their hands mucky this barn has 24 horses in it you'll see when we walk up the middle of it in a second Hello. that it is um it's quite different set up because it's basically got these seven stables outside only look out or well, when you go up the middle of the barn you'll see in there that seven only look in and the ten along the back back will look in and out and they get windows so you can vary you know for horses personalities or how much they're out in the field or not mm. or that sort of thing get as much daylight or not as as possible so you can work for their individuals um she's called cleo she is a I think we made friends yesterday didn't we cleo <laughs> yeah she's very I, I heard she's a bit like a big labrador yes she is a big labrador <laughs> storage shavings i've always used for bedding i like bed max has always been my choice big flakes doesn't seem dusty it's clean it smells fresh it is and then i like them to have a nice big bed with banks it's been something that I've never thought of wanting to save and skimp on, of having, you know, a little flat bed or something like that. It's important. I want them to feel that they have a role and have a good sleep. So use hay and haylage, um, mixture of both. I like the combination of both to use. We steam our hay at the hay game, um, but I like them to have a bit of a mixture and they, they get fed hay or haylage or mixture or one or the other four times a day and they get fed a couple of times a day. Um, Brookfield Innocent. Oh. You know. <laughs> well, I hope I might so venture it to Burley. Are you going to go oh. to Burley? Oh. Oh. I don't know. I hope so. We'll see. Get the wheels turning. Subtle finesse. He's a new one this year. He says I had an intermediate win, my first win oh. the other day. Oh, oh, what a good boy. He says I've been so He's got a beautiful, he's a beautiful horse. So he's new this year, so it'll be as exciting. But he's big and he's he's a really blood horse, so he'll just take a bit of time. He's eight years old in a six-year-old body. Yeah. yeah it's <laughs> quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> To hide away in the winter when it is yeah, horrible weather. Yeah. You did have a sneaky peek of this earlier. Oh, this is the tap room so of dreams. Like, wow. <laughs> the tap room of dreams. No, we were just all saying we'd love to have rules big enough to put them in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a bit of a 
gorgeous photos like that. Yeah. And, and also have gorgeous photos as gorgeous as that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where we actually look to be on a horse. It makes quite a difference to the tack from actually having things on the wall because we, oh. we only put them up two years ago. Oh, okay. And it was such a cold, sort of big empty room and then they... Um, I had photos mm, in storage because they were used in a in a room for um, some yeah, displays. Yeah. So I was like, well, I'll put them in my house and yeah. put them over yeah. up on my wall at home. Uh, Ten years ago. Wow. The grass hadn't even... Look at the arena. The arena. Yeah. Incredible. So it's quite similar to it as well. God, they stick to it. Yes. <laughs> this is your Bible, Without basically. Without many horses as well, I bet you're going to have to. to. Yeah. Yeah, the, so, so Ames has got a board up there. The horses down, you know, you can just see the horses' names and then jump saddles, dress saddles, saddles of what they go in. Um, if I write school, that means I'll, I'll work them in a um, dress saddle saddle. And work means jump saddle. They always just, if I write jump, means jump boots. Mm -hmm. um, they all just have a poly pad. I'm not a lover of, I like my saddle, I have close contact saddles and I like them to fit. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. like a pad and a pad and a pad mm -hmm. or something, or sitting above them, they're close contact for a reason, but as long as they fit, all right, I don't like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the old one, will, it slips mm -hmm. on a horse, the shape of the horse is funny or it's not built up this side or that, and the railway is a type of ride. Lunge. So we've got Delhi who's in charge of the lunging really at the minute. So I know like today or whatever it is, three of four have been written down for a lunge. So she'll know after mucking out and the morning system's gone, she'll crack on and get on with her um, lunging. We have a treadmill twice a week and I'll put down what ones want to do the treadmill. I noticed a lot of them went on the walker before you they rode them this morning. They all go do on, they... yeah. Um, so on the whole, if they're not turned out at night, they will go on the walker first thing. Yeah, right. Um, but sometimes, but by the first thing, the first one's normally already on with tack on or yeah. something. Yeah. The list is done early enough, like at breakfast, uh, when the horse is, you know, around seven o'clock, it's like list. Um, let's go. If sometimes... I'll is it always you that writes this list? Um, the, uh, no, because it's quite nice handwriting half the time. So <laughs> <laughs> um, but sometimes I can text it through if I'm not here in the morning or anything like that. Mm. Um, but sometimes they'll work AM treadmill PM, so I'll do mm. them um, early. Ames is very, very switched on and has a very good system in her own head. And all I can, I can do and say, look, I've got to get these five done by ten. Mm -hmm. I've got two that I want to jump and three that I want to school or... Yeah. Um, so she'll know which order to put them in, so which saddle the next one's ready with the saddle that the other one in before hasn't mm -hmm. had on, so it's on the walker going around, that sort of thing. It's fitness day, railway rides. <laughs> that railway <laughs> is <laughs> That ride is eight to ten miles long. Wow. Oh. wow. And so we've done that, they all go and do that. We just pair up and we go. Really? Wow. And we go. Very tidy creature. <laughs> wow. Now we're ready to go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's all right. Set up ready. Mm. Um, and there's as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I um, so organised in the back. So if I talk about it, it's kind of really quite simple. I've been with Hudson and Horrell for a lot of years, and they've been absolutely brilliant with me and very helpful. But on the whole, it's high fibre nuts that we start the season with, and either fibre G or alpha, depending on your type of horse. And then over time, I will start um, saying that they need when I think they need something a bit more. Now, winter, especially up here, we're very, very cold, very windy, very fresh. Mm. They stay on just nuts and chaff for quite a long time and would we'll start their eventing on just that as well. They're very fit, they're very well. They don't really need a lot of energy. We get snowed in quite quickly mm. up here. The weather's like, you know, so I worry of being very fit up here, very cold. The moment they stop for a few days, you could tie up so quickly and all that sort of thing with it just being quite extreme weather things. So for me, 
we're just nuts and chaff until we probably get through to March to April and they're just then going to step up to some advance or some faster work or that sort of thing that the next step I'd go to really would probably be a stay power which is a slow energy release feed. Again every horse is different you might still get something that's still a bit of a slug in January or something a bit more laid back or needs more energy or needs to be faster or does more faster work or something like that but even in the winter even if they're hunting and things like that I think they're quite yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as simple as we can do of um, feed. Now supplements that I would use for feeding again I try to keep pretty simple and use what I've used for a while and mm. believe in. I try to not use a load so that when you get to feed them they've just got a feed piled of loads of different powders and all that sort of thing. So I try to keep it to what I think they really need and makes a difference to them. A joint supplement is used on all of them which I use. I do use the Vetroflex which is just what a maintenance standard one that they all have okay. for a young horse going on the whole time. Every, once a day, yeah. every level, they just have that. And then, when I go to three days, I would then change onto the Vetrofen. The week, ten days before, a three day, two weeks before, if you're going to a five star or something, and suddenly you just up that last bit of work or something. Mm. And I actually really do feel the difference oh, of it in that. But I go, remember when I said to you at the beginning of not having it on, they get too used to something. Yeah. Yes. Um, so that's when they're really at the hard bit of their work. Yeah. Okay. And you want to just help. Obviously, very legal. We need to be so careful of all the things that mm, we're allowed and not. I was going to ask that. Um, but that I've always felt and seen a bit of difference yeah. in joints. And, um, but they wouldn't be on it all the time. That yeah. is just building up two weeks before okay. something decent. And then they go straight back to the maintenance one. Vetricar mm -hmm. is also something that I've um, used, again, the same basics. I wouldn't probably use it all the time unless I was trying to... I had a nut job and was really trying to help it. <laughs> um, I would probably um, step it up or give it the week before, double it up the night before, morning mm. of, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, it can, all these sorts of things can work very differently on different horses from mm. some or others, but I know it's very safe, it isn't a, um, it doesn't dope them in any way, mm. like I'm very happy you know, galloping around Bampton and Burley. That's right. That sort of thing, rather than thinking, mm. have I given it too much karma? Yeah. yeah, so it's the worry, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and I don't, I don't worry about that at all. And these are electrolytes we obviously use all the time, but at the end of a three-day, electrolytes and recovery, happy days. You can give these sorts of things how you want to, like Tilly Bean, bless her. Hi, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's like, there's a lot yeah. of people in there. <laughs> she's weird, like, um, she's fine and what again. She would, um, she doesn't eat... You know, she eats, we've trained her to eat, but she certainly would know if things got put in the mm. feed. So she has to have things like either syringed, but these sorts of things can go in a feed or go in a water bucket or just syringe down. Mm. Really easy electrolytes and recovery, but we'll probably only really use that at three days. It's suddenly gone very, very quiet and very, very empty. Everybody's left and got on their travels home. Obviously haven't got seven hours like us, so... We are staying. I do want me to just sit for both just vlogs. Say silence <laughs> so that we can... No, we'll let our ponies speak. We just wanted to say good night to them. They're all mucked out. Got yeah, fresh water, okay. fresh hay. And yeah, Tina's got a little bit of a present for you that you're gonna love. But you're all happy, aren't you? She's just been a very fortunate pony and had a lovely grassabix. Is that how you say it? Grassabix. Term, right? for, <laughs> which she is tucked into I have just put in a couple more slabs of hay because my pony is eating a lot but she has She's worked very a lot of energy hard exactly. so has a mum my <laughs> move girl has gone 200% today um, oh there is some extra cans as well in the car she has been fabulous I dressage was hard work I can't lie as you've seen it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows definitely definitely not but I have got tips to take away homework things that I can try 
I still need to sort out like bits and stuff like that and I am trying things on that as well so there's still a lot of room in, for improvement but I can't get over her jumping she was epic and she was keen something she just needed to have a little look at like going down to that double but she still was going and she just goes oh I'm going mum I'm not quite sure but I trust you I'm going so I thoroughly enjoyed the jumping lesson very very much and yeah just what an incredible day with incredible people and as I said at the very beginning of this vlog it is true pinch me moments to be able to come up and have these experiences thoroughly enjoyed the yard tour that we had with piggy which a lot of that i probably am not going to be able to cut down because i just love the way that she talks she's so passionate and so relatable like they're just having chaff and nuts like not complicating things it and like her organization skills her whiteboard oh it's just all yeah incredible but we are going to head back now have a very well deserved shower we have got an hotel for this evening oh yeah yeah very needed um and then get back and look at all the footage see you in the morning i feel a little bit sad that we're leaving ponies can't lie but i do it's they're too all early right in the night to me i know i know but it's all right. They'll be there in the morning. They've got lots of food. I'm sure they're going to sleep gonna very sleep well. well. Yeah. Like we will. Exactly. Before setting off on the long journey back to Cornwall tomorrow morning. And good morning, ponies. I haven't vlogged anything yet this morning, have I? But it's time to end the vlog. You can see the hat is on. The saddles, bridles, the horses are tacked up. We're going to take them for a little bit of a hack. And then, what did you call it? I've got a schooling date with Piggy. <laughs> so... <laughs> Seeing as we have come so far, I just popped a message last night just to see if there was any chance of going in the school again with Piggy and working on what we did in our dressage lesson yesterday. And she's just come over this morning and said she'll be in there schooling, but she can keep an eye on me and give me some pointers as I'm going around so I can go in there and basically repeat what we did yesterday. Oh, my pony's getting rather excited. And yeah, just, I feel like we've come such a long way, but just to have one more lesson before hitting the road. We won't be doing loads, obviously, but it will be very good and very exciting. Again, Max is out playing with his diggers before school. <laughs> and his back's gone up. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, and of course, hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. Huge thank you to Animal Life, to Piggy, Equestrian Brands, Fairfax and Favour, Toggy, everyone, all the brands for getting involved and making these experiences happen and for thinking of us to be invited here and we had such an epic day yesterday and it was so lovely being with everybody like-minded people and yeah we had the best day ever <laughs> we have got a long journey to go today so obviously we don't want to be too late getting on the road but first i'm off to have a schooling date a with piggy anyway, isn't it? exactly drive, so. yeah i can't believe you've still got so much energy otherwise they're just going straight from a stable straight into yeah. the trailer to get home again aren't they so yeah right so camera down this beautiful countryside exactly but yeah right, see you guys on. soon bye shouldn't have taken you by the gate one that's it good girl well done when she's sweet she's actually very sweet and yeah. the, you know goes very nicely so just remember to keep it black and white you know it's nice everyone's nice good girl because that's just like not necessary to stop you know if it's no. greenness and it's just a bit of a spook yeah then that's fine encourage good girl come on but the moment if she gets a bit crabby a bit, that's it and a tap on the shoulder, you know, a little tap tap, just to see whether that helps. Okay, good girl. Good girl. And trot, and trot, and trot, and trot. Good girl. Trot, 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 trot. Well done. Always good pass the girl. gateway, or where you think there's somewhere she's not going to like, just think and trot, and trot, and trot, and trot. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Good. Just give her a big pat every now and then. When she feels very nice, yeah. just remember to, you know, praise her. Yeah. Just so that there is a difference. Yeah. Good girl. Between being on a case and that's very good. Good girl. Well done. Just to, to reward her. Yeah. 
and trapped and trapped and trapped and trapped. Oh, good girl, better. Good girl. And this scary bit. Good girl. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Ah, ah, ah. Catch run, catch run. Good. Good. Well done, good girl. But I would say if you if she's starting this is a bit of a phase. Yes. I'd say that was the important thing first, just to say when you say move, she does go forward. Yeah. Because you don't want her becoming a crabby mare that's always parking up in every bloody corner or something. Um, so just keep it as simple as possible so she can keep freely flowing. Yeah. Good. On. But yeah, exactly. Changing directions are still good. You just got to learn to accept that when you change the rein and change your diagonal that she doesn't just park back at you. Good and chop and chop, good, good girl. Good girl, very good. I probably wouldn't go mad with her today. No, either. absolutely no. Yeah, if she feels when she feels very genuine and you've just asked the truck to go forward or back and really comes off an aid and you've had a canter both ways and she comes in here and feels quite sweet. Yeah. That's it, and walk, walk, walk. And then back to trot again. Just go and do a few trot transitions. Walk trot transitions that gets her thinking a bit forward because actually she gets a bit stoppy at you when you go to walk. To walk. Yeah, she does. Once, yeah. once that's it, done. Okay. And it might again open another can of worms. Okay. But you should be able to start, you know, with a young horse coming back to walk and then just thinking and trot. Yeah. And try and get so she just starts thinking, okay, trot on. And I'd just be quick with the attitude to then be a bit like, no, come on, walk. But you keep her going forward, a nice rein. You know, you don't have to, you don't grab the bridle or stop her. No. But I just think we're going somewhere. That's the most important thing. Yeah that she goes. So when you're ready, back to trot. Yeah. And just think both both legs and then and trot. And if nothing happens, a slap and a good thump. Trot. Good girl. Well done. That's it. And say good girl. Good Little girl. Pat. Excellent. That's it. Back to walk. When you're ready, think forward to walk. Don't pull back. Ride it forward to the walk. Forward to the walk. Relax your hips. Left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Walk, 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 walk. You just got to get her off, you know, thinking forward. Sometimes you can walk for 10 strides and then trot. So it's not always exactly the same transition. That's good. That's better. Better. Good girl. Good girl. Give her a big pat. Well done. But again, it's not wearing so much of her head. I mean, you're lucky she's got quite a nice natural outline anyway. Yeah. But the important thing is she actually just moves off your leg to go somewhere. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, 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 and trot. Yeah, but exactly. Good girl. Yeah. And it's just you being paying attention to just how in front of your leg you, you get her in that transition. Oh, just little things like that, isn't it, that you just... Make a difference. You are, yeah. Do a couple of them on this rein, then I think. No, it doesn't. It can and be really simple. Left leg, right leg. Keep the walk forward, keep the walk forward. Good. Yeah. Good. If you're kicking and slapping and grinding away and walk, then you're hardly going to get a far, a good trot transition. No. Or you're still going to be grinding away in bloody trot as well. That's it. Good. Yeah. Good girl. Forward, 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 forward. That's it. Let work the good, 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 trot. good trot. Good girl. Well done. Very good. Good girl. And that's like just more genuine. Yeah. Just think, I'm only asking you to go forward forward and she can do that it's just having a bit of a strop good girl good girl very good see she's thinking forward more there yes i do one more on that long side i think i'm happy to call that day 
make this one good, Addy. Not off my leg like that, no. Girl. Relax the hips, relax the hips. Right leg, look. No, I didn't actually want, I just wanted you forward. Good girl. And trot. Good girl. Well done. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm gonna. I feel that's, that's right. a, a good place to stop. I don't want to do loads, but thank you. Those pointers are just. It's so simple, but it just makes, like you say, so much. Yeah. And it's knowing what to do with that attitude. You don't want to do the wrong thing. To well, get... I know. I know. But you've got to keep confidence in what you're doing. Yeah.